Um, my my overlay looks a lot better now uh, since it's it's a uh, all wide. Um, but yes, thank you, Rabbit. Hopefully this works. It's improving every every time I lower. Oh hey, that looks like a video. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you, Rabbit. We can we can work with this. This we can do. Hang on, my overlay looks like it got a little sad. <laughs> That's okay. We're behind the scenes. Oh, and Rabbit, thanks for coming. Um, I've been meaning to tell you that I, I ended up revamping my, my overlays and stuff because your stream always looked so nice. So I was like, oh, I love her stuff. I want I want my stuff to look nice. So... Um, so I, I ended up revamping my stream since I was starting back up again. So, um, yes, yeah, so thank you for inspiring me. Oh, uh, let me get, let me get stream elements back up so we can put my, we can get our, uh, requests back. Let's see if it works. So that's fine. We're, we're gonna, we'll be a little rough, but, oh yes, you're welcome for the host, of course. Um, I haven't been able to come by your streams in a, in a little bit, so I'm excited to get to start watching stuff again. Okay, well, we're only 30 minutes after I said we were going to start. Um, but thank you guys for, like, hanging with me. I appreciate it, and thank you guys for the help. Um, I would like to get my, my song request back up. Oh. Ooh, rabbits and boats are the best! Uh, and I'm, I'm so happy to see your emotes, like, <laughs> bouncing across my stream. Yes. Yes. So good. I'm so determined to get song requests back up. I'm determined. So determined. Uh, anyway, I guess while we're waiting for that to load up. Um, so last stream, uh, I was, I set up the 3D print have bad news so the first the, the print that we started on our stream uh, oh hang on let me let me I have a lamp like right here let me scoot this up just a teeny bit um, the print didn't finish and the reason the reason is it's um, you can actually see the whoa okay it's, it's having a hard time Let's see if I can oh, you can see the infill so I mean it's a uh, Oh my god, sorry. The it's the problem is this print is white, so it's blowing out. You can see the crisscross infill. Infill? Um, so I, I'm having problems. This print is actually a... Um, uh, it's a long print. It's I think it's just because it's so tall. So this is like... Where'd my ruler go? It made it through... Th about three inches so it made it through three inches uh and um the problem is the filament actually had a, a crisscross in it so it's when it's unspooling sometimes the filament will uncoil but it'll be trapped underneath a, a further a coil i mean a piece of part of it that's further down the coil and it'll get stuck and then it'll jam and the um, printer can't finish so it just, when I came back, it was completely, it was just completely like halfway done with like some, a little bit of fuzzy junk on top. And that was about it. So, um, so that was the first one. I, s oh, there we go. We should have music again. Um, so I, and Rabbit, thank you for the, <laughs> um, thank you for the host. Um. Okay, I started playing music, so hopefully that doesn't cause any issues. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like her. Um, this is Ovelia from Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, she's she's really cute. Um, I'm gonna show you guys where, how where I am on the sewing portion. This is actually the, her little buckle that's supposed to be in her cape. So, yeah. So I'm making I'm making sure to catch up. So the full thing, um, the full, and it's supposed to be like four and something. So yeah, I got about halfway there. So I did start another print, and it almost finished. Um, I'm trying to shade it so you can see it. So you can see there's the bottom where it didn't. It was the it was printing like this, just standing up, 
uh, and this is the top. So it made it, so you can see the top didn't quite finish. It had the same issue. Um, this one is almost workable, so I'm going to try a third try. Um, so, um, so the buckle is supposed to be, it's a little round bits on the side, so it's like this. So I think it, it's, this, this, this one is usable. I could probably fill this bottom pit piece in. It's not perfect, but it's possible. The, um, I'm going to give it a third shot, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to print it, um, I'm going to print it while I'm at home. So maybe I might start one, um, I might start one like Friday night, tomorrow night. Um, cause usually it seems like if I, I, I unwind the spool just a little bit, so it gives it enough like running room. And then if I check on it a few hours later, usually that'll get it through. Um, so this one, I'm going to try a third time. It's, it's a lot of material, so I don't want to necessarily waste material if this one will work. So I'm going to give it one more shot. If that does not work, I will I will make the best of what I can. Oh, Doggo came in. Hey, buddy. Oh, sorry, I bumped the table. Oh, you can kind of see him in the mirror back there. Buddy, you can come say hi. Okay, he he came to say hi. <laughs> Delson, <laughs> why you? I know a sewing stream, right? We're gonna get this work in. It took a lot of effort to get it going. Come here, Camly. Come here. He brought me an antler. Here he is. It's the dog. Hey, buddy. Can you come up here? Get in the chair. Come on. There we go. There he is. Yeah, so um, we're going to get started on the sewing part now. Um, wanted to um, wanted to update you guys on how the print went. So, um, yeah, that's, Gim that's Gimli Rabbit. I don't know if you've seen him yet. <laughs> he I always liked at least to have him come say hi at least once. Um, so yeah, so the print, this one is workable. It's pretty much like, it's missing like maybe a quarter of an inch. So it's not, not the worst. So, so it'll go right there. And it'll be a weird, a gigantic belt buckle because Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Delson. Thank you for coming. Um, uh, I had an okay hair day, so yay. <laughs> um, it's been kind of hard over the summer uh, to have good hair days for me. So to update you guys on the cape and the dress, I have the cape. Oh, Gimli's kind of sitting on the cape. Hang on. Gimli, can you not? Can you not? So I have the cape here. It's uh, really damn long. Uh, let's see if I can. I'll move the dress over here. Oh, uh, let's see, can you see it? It is also very light colored. So apologies on the white of everything. Um, so um, the dress is, it's a pretty simple, um, it's a pretty simple dress. I have the sleeves cut out. Um, they're just not sewn on yet um, because I have a um, little, you can see on her, her sleeves, there's like a little um, stripe on there. So I'm gonna sew that on before I sew the actual, um, the final seam on the sleeves. And I actually, I patterned them out, but I used a pattern I already had, but I'm having to take them in a ton, so. Um, oh, we'll probably get to that some today. So I sewed on the collar last night. Um, today I was going to work on the zipper. So that's the next uh, sewing thing I'm going to do. So I'll just show you guys doing the zipper. Uh, I do need to iron this dress, like, a lot. Um, I'm probably not going to do that on stream, but uh, we'll see where we get. Actually, what's my to-do list today? Zipper, yeah, probably zipper and sleeves is what we're going to work on tonight. Uh, I might iron. Like, at the end of the stream, I might just start ironing so we can just chill. Um, but yeah, so here's the cape. So the dress is uh, just a um, uh, just a Casa satin I got from Joann's. Um, it's pretty simple. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's, it's always hard. It's always hard to do sewing streams with, like, a big dress because... You can't see, it's really hard to get the full view. I guess you can, maybe if I angle it. No, you can't really see it in the mirror. Uh, but anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll post pictures later. And Gimli keeps getting on the cape. I'm gonna post pictures of the cape. So I do have the cape all like, sewn together. Um, 
You can see it's all like, that's the, the inside without the lining. So, it is big. Ugh. So. So I haven't added the big, like, trim to it yet. Uh, that's probably going to be this weekend. That's going to take a while. So, um, I might stream some of that just so you, if you guys want to come watch and uh, uh, just chill out. Because it'll be a lot of monotonous stuff. Same with cutting out the design. Oh, and here's the fabric I'm using for the lining of the cape. It's kind of hard to see in this picture, but she has this plaid, this green plaid on the inside. And this, this print I found online is pretty much perfect. So, super lucky. Super duper lucky on that. Um, so yeah. I got my long ass zipper, so let's get to it. Yeah, this is a, the, the cape is actually a suede. I got this. Oh, actually I got this from Joann's too. I wanted a, um, I wanted a fabric that, um, whenever I like, when I make a costume, hang on, I'm going to struggle. I'm going to struggle bus for a second. Hang on. Struggle bus. Struggle dress. Oh God. There we go. Okay, got the dress off. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about, uh, I was talking about material choices. So when I, um, whenever I make a costume, I like to think about texture and what I feel like, what kind of material I think the character themselves would be wearing. I do like my dress form framed there. Oh yes, Delson, always Final Fantasy XV. And I actually like that the, uh, the, um, the, the song request actually just keeps the, uh, uh, it keeps whatever was requested. It saves it. So, so I'm going to tilt this cause I'm going to be at my sewing machine. Um, so whenever I uh, pick costume materials, I like to think about what the character would be wearing. So Ovalia is a princess and I knew I wanted, I wanted something like pretty nice. So with her, well, not, not nice in the sense of like super expensive, uh, because I don't have a lot of like crazy extra funds to spend like, like $12, $12 a yard on something. Um, the, uh, I go to, I do Joann's a lot because I can use coupons. Um, th this costume particularly, I knew I needed a ton of material, so I had to be pretty, not like picky, but I was, I was kind of picky with what I picked as far as colors went. But I had to really plan ahead what I used because um, I knew I was going to have to buy a lot of stuff and I couldn't spend, like, I couldn't go crazy with, um, with costs. I had, I had to, I had to actually kind of budget stuff out. Um, unfor unfor I mean, I would have loved to have used, um, like, Dupiani silk for this dress, um, but it just wasn't in the... And it's totally fine. You don't, you don't have to spend a ton of money on materials to make something nice. Um, it's just kind of what you do with the material is, is kind of the cool thing. Um, so I went with satin, and satin is perfectly acceptable. Satin's fun. It has a nice little, like, shine. Um, yeah, never shop at Joann's without coupons. For sure. I think I got most everything, like, 50% off this time. Um... And, uh, um, and the, the, the suede too, that's just from Joann's. It's the, um, the thing that I'm doing with it though. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see because it's white on white. Um, but I actually inter, I did something called interlining on this costume. Um, this is why I, uh, it's going to be hard. It's just, there's just so much like light. Ooh. I can't block, I'm trying to block the light, but it's kind of hard. Um, I'll, I'll probably, <laughs> if there's just post pictures online, um, so I interlined the satin with just a, another, this is an eggshell, this is an eggshell satin. Um, and I, I actually interlined it with a, um, which is broadcloth. So I just cut out two, two pieces of my pattern and then just acted, uh, treated them as one piece and sewed them together. Um, 
it, uh, what it does is it helps thicken the material. So this dress is actually pretty hefty. Uh, so it actually feels more like it's made out of heavy satin rather than just a thin satin. Um, this is just Casa satin, which I actually, I actually really like the look of Casa satin. It's, it's shiny, but not too shiny. And I did actually the same thing with the cape. It's, uh, you'll, it's easier to see. You can see that it's white on the, uh, on the inside. So that's broadcloth. So I did, did the same thing. So that's why it took me forever to cut out all of my pieces. It took so long to get everything together. Uh, after I, um, oh, hey, Shadow Crow made it. How, how is it going? Just talking about sewing stuffs. Um, I'm having to iron this thing like crazy too. Uh, cause the satin likes to, um, it likes to get wobbly. Um, jeez, I need to, I don't know if I pull this forward if that will help. But, like, all of my, my camera's having a hard time, like, <laughs> filming this costume. There we go. Um, this is a pretty smooth seam, but some of my seams are still a little wobbly. So I'm gonna have to, um, go in and actually, um, when I interlined it with the broadcloth, I had, you have to take those two pieces and baste them around the edges together. Um, and then I actually ironed that, then I sew them together, and then before I spread out the, so like, I know this is, this is all raw edge, so it's really fraying right now. Um, so before I flatten it, I actually will take the edge and then iron it all together like this, and then flatten it out, and that will help get the, um, uh, that will get the um, some of the wobbly wobbliness out because my tension just no matter what I do the tension just does not seem to help. So um, actually, before I move on, I actually want to fix this this collar piece. There's actually a little bit of a dip in it, so I want to go ahead and adjust that real quick. Oh, Crone, I'm sorry you had a bad day. Well, I hope it gets better. Maybe here I'll send you I can I send you some corgis. Corgi. Corgis. Corgi derps. No, you need one, one more. At least one more. There goes another corgi derps. Dorp. Corgi derps. Yes, all the corgis. I know I keep saying it, but I'll eventually get some emotes. Um, I just have not had time. TwitchCon. TwitchCon is looming. Ooh, past Ashley did not do a clean seam. So we're gonna we're gonna fix this real quick, and then we'll get the zipper in. Do, do, do. Yeah, I guess I will I will move over here just a little bit. So I'm trying to make sure you can see my my table. I'm trying to see how does the table look. Okay, yeah, you can, you can see what I'm doing. Cool. Okay, at any point, my hair or something's blocking the way, just yell at me. I'm used to, like, being a gremlin and, like, just seam ripping like this and, like, just hanging over it. Like a, yeah, like a gremlin. So, have better posture so you guys can see. Um, and I know it's, it's white thread on ivory everything. So, um, yeah, woo. Woo. So much. <laughs> yes, yell, yell at me. Oh, I think I see an Azure props in here. You don't have to talk if you don't. If you're just lurking, that's cool. They mean to call you out. It just, it's telling me that you're here. Yay! Summon the corgis. Oh man, this was, oh, seam allowance. What is seam allowance, right? I was not very, uh... well, the problem is I hadn't trimmed this to what it should have been. And so I was kind of guessing. So it's kind of my bad. That's okay. We fixed it. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. I did not 
I'm being really picky on this costume, which is most costumes, but it's like it's a princess. I don't, I want her to be clean, clean and pretty. I don't care if she's been riding around on a chocobo all day. She's got that, that Final Fantasy, like, shield from grime. Which I guess 15, um, I guess 15 kind of saved that. <laughs> yes, there's my alpaca army. Oh, wait. Ugh. Yeah, there's some of them. Wait, uh, uh, there we go. Right there. My, uh, all my big ones are, um, I'm, I can't touch that camera. That camera will explode if I touch it. Um, Zanzarb, hey, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We are, I'm seam ripping a collar that I messed up. Because, <laughs> because I don't want it to be messed up because it's below my neck. Oh, in my chin. You'll be looking here a lot. So I, I don't want it to be gross. But yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, so I got, okay, Alpaca Army. There's, I, I'm sad you guys can't see them. I have my really big ones across the way. Um, I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need an alpaca. Oh, sh shoot. I almost said a really bad word. Is that the front? Oh, sorry. Uh, I mind, I almost... I think I managed to hopefully recover, but I almost gave myself a run in the fabric. Oh, don't do that. Don't, don't run, please. Okay, I don't think it's noticeable. Oh, it's your first time seeing the sewing stream. Yeah, well, we just welcome. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of uh, me putting a thing through a machine. Um. Oh, Shadow Crone, you're doing Sintra for Femto. Oh yeah, Femto is gonna be, that's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be real crazy. Oh, and I don't know if you can, uh, you can maybe not see it, but when I, when I sew, um, my machine's gonna sound a little like, clanky and it's totally uh fine i'm using a walking foot so um i can't i can't touch this camera because it's gonna <laughs> stand as being a butt so uh i can't move it but it uh it has like it has teeth on top of it here i move it here so it has teeth on top and you have the teeth underneath the machine so it actually pulls the fabric at the same rate um it's something that can also help with uh, whenever you're uh, un in underlining like what I was doing with uh, multiple pieces. So it's something that can also help uh, that kind of warpy look that you get sometimes. Um, I need to make sure my length is set. Oh yeah, actually let me see let me show, see Crone's uh, thing. If my computer will load it. Um, I've been having some issues Okay. Oh, yes. There's that Femto. God, he's so creepy. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be really good. Okay. I just wanna double check, make sure my angle's working okay. God, that light is so bright. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Like, all my stuff's blowing out because I'm sewing on a white machine and I'm sewing a white costume. I will sew a dark costume next time so you can see it better. Um... But I'm definitely going to be getting into um, more of the details really soon. So um, probably this weekend you'll see like some of the gold skirt details. And those you'll be able to see. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I think, um, yes, this is a petal. Um, most machines use a, um, most electronic ones use just a little electronic pedal that plugs into the side. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna line this up. Oh, I think, uh, was it, 
was it pink girl Did, uh, sorry i think i saw you comment on my machine earlier um i do i love this machine it's a um it's a viking Uh, it's a it's a Viking. It's an Opal 670. It is a really nice machine. Uh, it is computerized. My first computerized machine, uh, and I've had it. Oh, uh, I think I got it 2014. So I've had it. Oh wow, I've already had it for three years. Oh wow, the cosplay time it flies. Oh Zanzarb. Okay, so Zanzarb. Wants to try to make a blat bat pl a blat a blat plushie a bat plushie. We don't have any fabric for plushies. Oh <laughs> no, cry. Um, do you have a? Is there a um, a craft store nearby? Because I think uh, I think even a Walmart sells fabric. Um, and they they have fine stuff. Uh, fleece uh, fleece works really good for plushies. Uh, I know craft stores will sell felt. Felt, I think, will be a little, um, might be a little too, I'm not, it, I don't think it'll last as long. Highly recommend, like, flannel, fleece, even cotton. So I know, I know Walmart sells that kind of thing. Unless you're not from the States, then, I mean, <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Uh, Joann's, obviously, that's where I, I do my mo most of my shopping. Oh, oh no. You know how I was talking about that run earlier? It happened on the front of the dress. Oh, dang it. That is me censoring myself a little. I want to say a lot of other words. How did that happen? It's that got pulled somehow. Oh no! I might be able to. I might be able to fix it with an iron. You're not gonna be able to see it on stream, but if you've ever had a pair of pantyhose and seen a run in those, it's kind of like that, but a little more subtle and more frustrating. Um. Oh, I'm not in a huge rush, Crone. It's okay. Uh, I was in a huge rush last year for TwitchCon because I was competing. Uh, this year, I am taking it easy. If this gets finished, I want it. I want to finish this costume, but if it doesn't, I'm gonna back up and wear probably wear Yuna. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Oh, Pink Girl has an old singer. Oh man, those are pretty damn sweet. Um, those, like, never break, because they're just, they're made to last forever. So, I hope to get one of those someday. Uh, hang on, I don't know if you're seeing my butt, but I apologize. I'm plugging in my iron. Um. Okay, let me make some space on the ironing board for myself. Oh, Gamely, I actually do not want you on that tape. I'm sorry, buddy. I feel bad because he wants to cuddle with it, but I really don't. I don't want more wrinkles to iron out. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really disappointed in that run because I already have a run on this dress. It's on the back. It's actually on the side. Uh, it happened. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Nah, it's not really. Maybe if you use, I use my shirt as a background. Um, there's a. You can see there's like a little piece of the the woven material from the from the uh from the satin that got pulled somehow i think it was a pin that did it i mean this isn't i mean the costume's still wearable but it's really frustrating when i haven't even worn it yet and it's already getting damage uh so pardon me i'm at the iron right now so sometimes you can iron these out sometimes you can't and it really sucks because there's nothing on her neck to, like, hide it behind. She just has, like... Oh, well, I guess the cape actually might cover it. So we might be okay. We might be okay. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna see if the iron does anything. Let 
Meh, it looks a little better. Making me real sad. Okay. I'm going to press on top as well. Uh, I'm putting just some more broadcloth over it while I iron it so I don't damage the satin. Yeah, honestly, I don't think it's going to be really noticeable. Nah. You're not going to see it in pictures for being sure, so. Okay, we're just going to move on. We're going to move on. We get our bumps and bruises during the journey, but we survive. So. Now, Gimli's being a good boy. He's... I have not taught him to not lay down on fabric, so he does, because he loves blankets. So, um, it's my bad. I need to actually teach him to not, but I haven't yet, because I'm a bad dog mom. Okay, I'm just going to trim this a little bit. We'll, put, we'll go ahead and put a zipper in this. We'll get something done. <laughs> Oh, I took off my scarf. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, you can't blame you can't blame Gimli. Dogs are only as bad as their owners let them be. Whether that's through training or not lack of training. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I mean it's it sucks when something goes wrong, but um, I do think the, I do think the, uh, um, the strap, I think it's a pretty big strap. I think it might actually cover it. So, what is to hope that that is? Because I really don't have time to, uh, to recut out. Because it's the whole, it's the front panel of the dress, which, um, I, I don't know if you guys can see. But the way I, the way I did it is the panel... The front panel goes all the way to the bottom. So it's a big, long piece. Um, so there's no there's no um, seam at the waist. Uh, because I wanted to do it that way. <laughs> I felt like it would look really elegant. And I have to say, princess seems like... I thought I was going to have a hard time fitting this to myself. And it actually has been really good. Uh, just because of the princess seams. Because uh, they're just, like, straight down. And then there's two in the back. So. Okay, so here's my zipper. It is a... Uh, I found out recently that um, Casa, so the um, the brand of satin that uh, Joann's puts out, not the not the costume satin, but they're called... It's called uh, Casa. Um, they actually have zippers now. So Casa makes zippers that match their Casa satin colors. I actually grabbed the wrong color. I have, I think this is eggshell satin. This one's like an off-white or an ivory, I think I grabbed, but it still matches. It's fine. It's a light, like, not quite perfectly white zipper. But for any of you guys who actually sew, Ca Casa makes zippers now, and they match. So that's pretty damn cool. I was very excited. I was, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, they got zippers. The, the zippers that they usually carry are fine. They're totally fine. But it's it's really... I get excited about dumb things, so... Um, I didn't quite plan out how I was going to sew this collar in. I didn't quite plan it out the proper way. So I think I'm going to have to... Because I'm going to put a lining in this dress. There we go. Oh, I trimmed that really small. Okay, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, I I say, like, whatever makes you happy, something something fun and exciting, like, no shame being excited, right? No shame. Okay. I will pull this back up on the table so you guys can see what I'm doing. So, so I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna have to take out my foot. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys putting it, installing a zipper foot. Um, so what I do for my zippers, I start out the top. Um, so I'm just going to pin it. This dress, is, this dress is getting kind of unmanageable because of how heavy it is. Because it's essentially two, two layers of material already. and hasn't even had a lining yet. Okay. 
So I start at the top and then just pin my way down. I think I actually have more zipper than I need, but it's pretty perfect. Uh, doo -doo. I usually pin zippers uh, parallel with the zipper just because, you know, a lot of the time you see per people pinning perpendicular which is nice because then sometimes you can sew over that, but for zippers, I like to pin, I pin this way so it doesn't, um, I found that if I tried to do this horizontal, it kind of like, it kind of makes it, I can make it wobbly. Oh, I guess if I did it like this, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, okay, never mind. I like, I like pinning this way because it follows the flow of where I'm sewing. Find, I find the, oh, that's right, the, um, doing it perpendicular kind of makes the fabric wobbly hor uh, horizontally, so I don't like that. I'm also self-taught, so if I'm doing something wrong, let me know, <laughs> if you guys know. Oh, that's Athos. Give me stop. You don't need to jump up here. Oh, it's okay, Rabbit. You don't have to, you don't have to talk all the time. Lurking is totally fine. I will keep yapping, though. So you guys can listen to me. Yeah. Let's talk about what I'm doing. The dog. Oh, you you did. I don't know if you saw the kitty. Oh, you did see. <laughs> so rabbit did see the kitty. Oh yeah. Okay. So some people saw the kitties. Oh, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Buying zippers while singing roundabout. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Dat me. Uh, I put roundabout in my workout list playlist, uh, and it came on at the end of my, uh, workout yesterday, and I was like, hell yeah, way to end it. It's good. It's real good. And I sang it while walking out into the parking lot. So, I have a feeling that I don't get talked to a lot at the gym because... Because <laughs> I'm usually wearing, like, a nerdy shirt that has, like, Sailor Mercury on it. I have, I have a workout shirt that has Sailor Mercury on it, and she's, like... She's like curling, uh, curling some 15 weights or she's curling weights. So I wear that or my, I have a Sailor Moon one that says guns and buns on it. Or I have, I do have a lifting llama shirt. So it's a llama with a headband and he's also curling. So I wear dumb stoops, stumps. I was about to say dumb shit. So sorry. Dumb stuff like that. And I don't, I don't get talked to a lot, which is fine by me. Nobody messes with the nerd. But anyway, rabbit. No, totally fine to lurk. Let's see. Yeah, totally fine to lurk. Um. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna be chill about this. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try to be chill. I kind of have no chill, so. Oh, and if you, I don't know if any of you guys follow Rabbit, uh, her streams are really fun and she's adorable and she's a great artist. She does a lot of drawing streams. And girl, your line work is so good. By the way, I don't think I've said it. I think I might've said it on stream before, but some, that's some, that's some line work goals. I'm looking for my screwdriver for my computer, for my phone. <laughs> I'm glad Rabbit thinks I'm chill. My brain, my brain is not. I'm just like looking for. Oh, there's my invisible zipper foot. Let's see. Make sure to check on the stream. Let's see. Oh, Delson's asking about my back. Yes, my back feels a lot better. I've been um, getting back into just weightlifting in general. And honestly, like, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be doing it again. Um, it's It's been just, like, I feel like I'm sleeping a lot better. Um, and I needed to just because my back was so, just so messed up. Um, so I'm actually, I did actually a back day yesterday. And my back doesn't feel sore. So, um... Just gotta keep it up so I can continue to 
live with a working back. Um, let's see. Oh, no, I don't know what word I should have censored. Uh, probably all of them. Yes, and no problem, Rabbit. You are awesome. I love, I love, yeah, you're, you're great, so. Uh... Oh, man, Delson, I don't, I don't think I have a shout-out command yet, but I, I should get one. I really like, um, oh, yeah, like, follow, follow or shout-out, um. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. Um, actually, what are, I don't think, I don't think I have one in our commands. The commands work? Yeah. I will get one, but yeah, Rabbit Coon, she's great. Um, I found out about her because she was doing uh, fan art from the game I worked on, and it, like, made me so incredibly happy. I was like, Ugh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so, actually, I'm about to start crying now, sorry. I'll get it together in a second. It's been, it's a lot of, a lot, um, it's been a crazy week. Okay, my computer is not wanting to load my commands, so, um, if you guys can look at it, <laughs> you can tell. I, I think, I think Stream Elements can do it. I just consider this a, a, a manual shout out. <laughs> Rabbit, I won't cry. I won't cry. I didn't think I would. I didn't think I would start, like, tearing up, but I did. So. Um, oh yeah, zipper, that's what we're doing. Hug, hug. Okay, let's see if we fit the stinking dress on this machine here. Oh wait, am I gonna, oh no, 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 don't you do that. Wait a minute. Did I do? I think I pinned the wrong side first. Oh, and I think. Sorry, I'm I'm getting a little, little um, sidetracked. I think I saw Pink Girl say, "Oh, she was taught to do parallel." Okay, that's fine. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Yes, uh, there is a super moderator for, uh, for Streamlabs. Uh, I haven't, I, I'm not using Streamlabs right now. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you for the nice, <laughs> the kind words, uh, Rabbit. <laughs> That's okay. F words are totally fine. I don't think, I don't think I modded them out or anything. Um, I only, uh, I did, I did put some, they're just really nasty stuff on mine, so. And I realized I've actually pinned, I think I pinned on the wrong side. Because this won't fit on my machine like this, so... Sorry, guys. Ugh. My pin cushion is a magnet. That's why I'm throwing my pin, so... I'm not being irresponsible, I promise. Only most of the time am I irresponsible. So, okay, there's no shout-out commands for mods, so... Yeah, I'll set it up. Um... Yeah, I don't know how. I think our I think our stream is mostly mostly twenty thirties. I think we're all we're all adults here. Oh, that is a thing. Um, oh man, no, I'm so irresponsible. <laughs> Pardon me, as my face like jams into the camera. Dropped my my zipper. Oh my god, zipper, stay, stay. Um, I know I keep like not facing the camera. Um, <laughs> Delson is five. Uh oh, rabbit, we're in trouble. Delson, you have like the best typing ability of any five year old I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, so that's actually, <laughs> yeah, five year old mod. Oh god. Um, that is something I wanted to mention to you guys. Um, so I don't know if you, if you might have seen, um, but next week, um, I'm going to be. Uh, featured on the front page of Twitch, and I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how, how we're gonna deal with that. I was, um, hope, I was gonna reach out to some of you guys who are my mods, 
uh, to see if anybody's going to be available. I might need, like, maybe... Oh, here's a cat again. That's... Bye, Athos. Yes, I'm going to be... I'm going to be on... A fe they're going to be featuring... Um, they're going to be... They, so, so TwitchCon is... Um, well, Twitch is featuring the TwitchCon judges this month. Um, so... Yeah. Oh, thank you guys. Um, so I'm going to definitely reach out to you guys. Well, if any of you guys want to help me, um, it's going to be next Tuesday and Thursday. I know it's Thursday is really late, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I might have to reach out to, I might see if maybe Heidi, <laughs> Heidi is going to be available because she's in, she's, uh, on the same time zone. Well, she's up here now. Um, oh yeah, Phil, I know Phil saw it. Um, but I was going to see if anybody would be willing to help me mod because I don't, I mean, I mean, I like, I love, like our streams are so relaxed. I don't know how I'm going. I like, they asked us, oh, hey, do you guys want to be on the front page or whatever? Or do you want to be fe in uh, the cosplay feature? And I'm like, oh, that sounds fun. And then I didn't quite realize, like, wait, oh, I read like their, their advice column thing for like what you should do when you're going to get featured. And I was like, oh, that's right. Yeah, so they're so they're doing the showcase. Actually, I don't know if it means it's front front page or if it's just featured on the co it might be featured just on the cosplay. I'm not sure. It's it's one of those things. It's it means they're going to have a lot more people here than I'm used to. I mean, I'm used to I'm used to this. Like this is this is what I'm used to. Um so help modding just what I mean is just seeing if I can make sure there's at least, like, maybe two people who can be around in case we need to, like, ban hammer some people. Um, or just kind of just keep an eye on the chat to make sure, like, you know, things are good. I need to set up some chat roles. Um. Oh, thanks, Delson. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it might just be creative front, which that's totally fine. It's still gonna be, like, not something Ashley is used to. I think you're right. I think it is, um, I think it might be creative front. So it's still like, it's still pretty crazy. Um, my, I know my Tuesday one is normal time. I'm going to start, they actually recommend that you start like an hour before your, um, feature slot so you can kind of warm up and then stay a little bit after. So it'll be a longer stream. I also have to figure out what the crap I'm doing on these streams. So, <laughs> uh, if you, if there's anything you guys are interested in seeing, um, I mean, I can, I think one, I'll at least be working on my TwitchCon costume, and then one, I might just be doing, like, a demo of something. I could, maybe, maybe I can work on my 3D print for this costume, too. That'll be pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, it could be 50 plus, 300 plus, it's gonna be, it's gonna be busy, um, so if any of you guys, like, obviously I'd love for you guys to come. Um, I always like talking to you guys and uh, any additional just, like, eyes on the sky is uh, greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, so if anybody's, um, yeah, no, the the one that I'm kind of iffy on is, like, the, the Thursday one is, like, 9 to 11 at night over here. Um, oh, my God, Rabbit's going to be at TwitchCon. Oh! Okay, I have to come find you. Um, the only thing I'm um, having to do is uh, I'm doing... Uh, Saturday is kind of my busy day. That's when the contest stuff's happening. So I'll be judging... Uh, I'll be doing, like, the in-person, like, closed room judging on Saturday morning. And then Saturday evening is the contest. So um, that, lets me be, that will be my busy day. But Friday and Sunday, I got nothing. So, yes. Yes, Phil, I appreciate it. Um, who? Oh, awesome, Delson. Yeah, um, so this is the, is it the 10th and the 12th, I believe. Oh, Phil, actually, um, if, if you'd like, I can go ahead and make you a mod. I know you, you're like, you're here, like, all the time. Um, and anybody, anybody who's, um, uh, anybody who's available, like, I'll totally make you a mod if you wanna, if you wanna join me for any of those times. And it's, even if it's, like, you're there, like, 
at the beginning or whatever. Like, it's totally fine. It's, it's definitely going to be a lot more traffic. And, um, yeah, that's going to have to be it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Stream Elements keeps, keeps budding in. Um, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and... Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll give you... Wait, is it... Is it mod? Let me see. Phil? I'll go ahead and do it right now. Yeah, total. It, that's kind of how I look at it. It's like, the more the more you guys who are mods who I trust, the better. Yeah, okay, Phil's mod now. Okay, so Rabbit has a panel from 12 to 1 on Saturday. So, yes, Sunday, Sunday it is. I will... Sunday will probably be my day to actually, like, see the con. I'm guessing. So, that'll be awesome. Yeah, so I really appreciate it. Um, and if you guys have any... Um, am I doing this? Yeah, I'm doing this on the correct side. If you guys have anything you're interested in seeing in the future... Uh oh let me know. I'm definitely going to be planning out some stuff for next week, for sure. Because I'm like, well, are people going to want me to yap and put on zippers? Or are they going to want me to, like, 3 print? I'm not sure. So, I gotta, I'm trying to, like, figure out what would be interesting. Um, okay, so we are we're going to attempt to get the zipper on without it getting caught in the teeth. But yeah, I'm really excited, Rabbit. I'm glad you're gonna be there. I didn't think I was gonna get to go this year, and then then they were like, hey, you wanna judge? I'm like, oh my god, yes please. I would love to go to Twitch. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Delson. I'm, I kind of wonder, like... I mean, I see people streaming all kinds of things, so I know there's there's always there's always something for um, for everybody. You never know what someone might want to watch somebody do. Ugh. I do like the streams where someone is able to like pick something small and get it done in, in during the stream, and that's cool. Um, but also just kind of like. Even if it's a long project, it's fun to see people just where they go. Uh oh. Okay. I bumped. The, I bumped the the cord of that camera, and I'm like, oh no, it's gonna die. Oh, glad to hear my streams chill. I'm. I try. I kind of feel like I yell a lot. Actually, let me. Speaking of yelling, let me kind of. Here's my cup of water. It's Rudy's. I'm not paid by Rudy's. It's a <laughs> it's a barbecue place from Texas. There we go. I'm just gonna move the mic a little bit. I have a lot of like plastic cups at home and we need to do uh <laughs> we we need to do dishes, so I'm using plastic cups right now. Ugh. Okay. And I think my seam allowance, luckily my seam allowance for the back seam here is exactly like the width of the zipper, so it's pretty perfect. <laughs> oh no, there's not a, um, yeah, no, this is, this, this is from... Rudy's back in Texas. Alas, there is no Rudy's here. Um, there was a Rudy's. I know there's, they have, um, they do have Dickies up here. And I tried the one that's near my house and it made me really sick. <laughs> so I don't go eat there anymore. When I saw it was there, I got really excited. I'm like, oh, yay, there's a Dickies. I'll at least get a taste of home every now and then. And I, I tried it, and then I was like, no. <laughs> no, so much nope. Like, I realized my camera's put, cutting off my forehead, so I tilt that. So, yeah. Hashtag 
Pacific Northwest barbecue not even once. Um, no offense to... Yes, I did, uh... <laughs> yes, I did, I did used to live in Texas. I pretty much grew up there. Um, if you, if you couldn't tell, I do have a slight accent. It's kind of, it's kind of faint, but my R's are very er sound. I just said it a second ago. I, there was a word I said where, um... Every time I say there, there. I can put on a drawl. Drawl. Uh. When I moved, to, when I lived in Indiana for two years, uh, I had people not know where I was from. Which at the time I was trying to hide my accent because I don't, I don't know why I was embarrassed by it. I think there's a, I think there's like a. I think I was a... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Ooh, zipper. I meant to backstitch that, not cut. I feel like I'm doing surgery here. There we go. Let's try that again. Okay. Ooh. Okay, stop. Okay. Yes, so I used to live in Texas. Uh, I grew up there, and then, um, uh, yes, and Dickie. Oh, God, Phil knows what Dickie is. It's, it's an okay restaurant. I know a lot of people hate it, but I actually like it okay. If there was a Dickie's here that didn't make me sick, I'd probably eat there more. Um... So that's how I'm gonna have to. Yep, yeah, that looks that looks pretty okay. You're not even gonna see the back of this anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I've definitely in the past, like I used when I was starting grad school, I got I was really embarrassed of my accent. But then, um, then I actually met my friend. Uh, I have a friend named Sarah who's also from Houston, who I met up. I went to I went to Purdue for two years. Say years. When I say years, that's when it starts coming out. Um, uh, when I um, I met her, and she's from Houston, and we became friends while up at Purdue, and and our accents got really, really bad hanging out with each other, and then we ended up rooming together, and uh, then at that point, I just started getting like really proud of it, just because I was in a place that wasn't Texas, and then I was like, oh, Texas is Texas is all right. I, I miss it. It's my home. Um, oh, I think I need to turn this inside out to get this. Fort Girl says you have a Brooklyn accent. That's cool. Oh, yeah, because Fort Girl's from Texas, too. Which is cool. That was that was really neat at uh, TwitchCon last year. With uh, There were, I think, three contestants who were from Texas. That was really, really cool. Cool. I don't know where I learned how to say cool that way. Uh, she, uh, so met up, I remember we had kind of a Texas dinner after, after, uh, the contest. It was, uh, her and I think Kadia, I think that was her screen name. It was really neat. Okay, so I need to zip up, see, this side. But I guess I'm gonna have to go from the bottom to the top. I feel like I have to reteach myself how to zipper every single time I put in a zipper. Like, I do it all the time. Why do I always forget how the order goes? Um, let me see. Because it needs to go in this way. Yeah, so I guess I have to go from the bottom. Oh man, lots of Twitch people in Texas. Yeah. I know, I have a lot of friends who like moved to Texas and they like hated it. And then they're like, I can't wait to get out. And, and, I, and then I ended up moving out and I'm like, man, like, I know people, like there are people who aren't from Texas who don't like it, but I'm, I'm definitely like, I like Texas. 
Gad has his problems. Every state has their problems, so. Okay. I'm just gonna pin this where it needs to be, and then we'll figure out how we gotta sew it. I swear, guys, I've been sewing for, like, freaking, like, over ten years now, and I still am, like, how, how do, how do zipper. The key is making sure that it is even. So, making sure I'm starting around in the same place. <laughs> oh, Nebraska is... <laughs> Nebraska's perfect, eh? I don't know, last time I was in Nebraska, my car broke down and there was nothing nearby. Explain that, Phil. Explain that. We were in a, we a cornfield and, like, we had to... Oh, it was bad. Yeah, why is Texas so big? It is so big. It's so dumb. I have friends who are in Austin. And even if I lived where I used to live, it would still be like four hours away. I can't remember where Fort Girl is, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure she's south from where my where I used to live. <laughs> Corn <laughs> Alaska is bigger. Oh yeah, pink. yeah. I mean, but do do people actually live in say like northern Alaska? I'm sure there are some. Alaska don't have friends. Oh, Alaska's cool though. I think I'm technically closer. I think I'm closer. Oh, uh, I am closer. I'm closer to Alaska than I am Texas right now, and that's really weird to me. Because. I'm used to being closer to Mexico. I've had, like, serious cravings for, like, roses lately. Roses is a, for anybody who doesn't know, it's a, it's a Tex-Mex place in, in Texas that's kind of like a fast food-ish place. It's not quite a sit-down. There's still a drive through but it's, like, better than Taco Bell. They make their tortillas fresh there. And it's delicious. Hey, okay. Well, yeah, Pink Girl's from Alaska, though. You, like, E know her. Or internet know her. I don't think E, e, e is used anymore. Except for email. Wait, do I zip? No, I don't zip this up. Okay. I swear, guys, like... Because I need to sew this. But I'm like, I don't remember ever having to, to sew from the bottom up. That doesn't seem right to me, and I don't know if I'm going crazy. Uh, where's my phone? I, I, wait, do I still have the instructions? I do. Here, I'm just going to look at the instructions because I can admit defeat here. Um, let's see. Yeah, do it. Oh, sorry, excuse me. See, he's on the right side. Yeah, see, this is showing it. Oh, I guess you turn it inside out. Oh my god, guys. Holy crap. Turn the whole thing inside out. I thought, I told myself that earlier. Just turn it inside out. Then you can do it. There we go. Now... Oh, wait, that doesn't, still doesn't seem right to me. So it's like, I'm looking at the instructions. It's like, do it this way. Turn it inside out. I don't know. This doesn't... Or did I do the wrong side again? I think I sewed the wrong side first. I did. Damn it, guy. No, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm gonna do it from the bottom. We're gonna do it from bottom. Oh, okay, cool. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about like, I know about like a few cities in Alaska, but I'm not as familiar with it. I've never been. I need to go. I keep saying that. Awesome. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to sew from the bottom up, because I don't think this will work with just the way this 
Oh wait, I can do it this way. Here we go. This will work. It's just gonna be this is gonna be super awkward because this dress is heavy. This dress is very heavy, and I'm just gonna have to shove a lot of dress material like through this tiny arm. So this will be fun. This is what happens when you make dresses, guys. Lots of sadness. <laughs> put these instructions. I'm glad these come with instructions because I feel like I always have to reference it. Like, every time. Every time. <laughs> this is not me giving in. Well, I mean, it, I guess it is. It's not necessarily defeat. It's just admitting that I don't have everything memorized. That's why we have the internet. So we don't have to remember things. Problem is now I can't see my pin cushion or pin magnet. It's not a cushion. Fun story. I got this pin magnet because my dog Gimli. Uh, he actually. Um, I used to have like a, a traditional like tomato pin cushion. It's one of those little guys that you um, you know you just stick the pins into. Uh, my dog ate it. Like, he legitimately ate it one, one evening. He was, a uh, he was a puppy. And we were terrified that he swallowed a pin. So we took, this was at, like, 1 a.m. We took him to the ER, the puppy ER. He got an x-ray and, uh, screamed bloody murder when they held him still on the x-ray machine. And, uh, <laughs> luckily he had not swallowed any pins. Uh, and since then, I use a magnet for my pin cushion because it has like a little cover on it, so he can't he can't eat it, and he can't get to the pins. So, hey, shrimp made it. How's shrimp doing? Yeah. So Gimli Gimli ate a pin cushion one one year. So it's because I left the door open and he got in. And if you've ever been, that's the second one I've had eaten by a dog. So those things are very tempting to dogs for some reason. If you're ever wondering, they're full of sawdust. So that's what's that's what it's, that's what it's, that is what is inside one of those sawdust. Not a whole lot of fun to clean up after, especially when you think the dog has swallowed a pen. We almost we were thinking about taking him or not taking him, and then I were like, I read horror stories of people who had their dog swallow pens and. It's just not, it's not a good time for anybody. So. Sewing is dangerous for dogs. There we go. Okay, now, now the foot is acting like it should. I was having trouble with the, the groove lining up and actually pulling the teeth back. thought sewing is dangerous it totally it's totally dangerous i mean i've um i've bled i've bled on costumes have not bled on this one yet it's gonna happen though guarantee it hoping it's on the inside yeah i have um i think i've shown this this is my one of my seam rippers it's essentially a scalpel it, it is pretty much a scalpel i have i think i've demonstrated this i was seam ripping a dress one one time is actually my Yukari that I made for WCS. First time using this thing, I was seam ripping down, and I did this and jammed it right in the palm of my hand. So, don't do that either. Cut away. Cut away. I will just, just, just don't, don't do what I do. <laughs> just don't. gonna have a stream of like don't don't be like me um yeah it actually I mean it bled pretty well but I just wore a band-aid so it wasn't like I didn't need stitches or anything um 
And I think I remember when I bought it, uh, it's really good for um, for taking out um, surging, like, overlocked uh, stitches, because it's a lot of thread to cut through, and that's why I have it. Um, yeah, don't do anything I would do or wouldn't do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, learn from my mistakes. Like, don't don't try to make a giant ball gown in like two, three months. Like, don't do that. I will say, I do get sleep though. <laughs> like, I'm I am well past the uh, ability or want to con crunch in myself into not sleeping. I don't do that. I can't do it. I'm too much of a wuss. A wuss. A wuss. I'm a wuss. I gotta have sleep. Actually, our... Oh, no, we're okay on music. If you guys have any song requests, just let me know. I, I just... I keep leaving the Final Fantasy stuff up. It's a really, really long one, so... It might be time for some Persona, actually. That's the stuff that really chills me out. This Persona soundtracks. <laughs> so. Okay. The, the real test here is gonna be, did I sew through the teeth too much? I wish I could get a close-up, but I don't have... I guess you can kind of see it. Now we're getting into the my 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 dress is kind of in a ball here. Ooh, Zelda, Zelda would be good. <laughs> don't don't be me. Um, well we actually haven't listened to Zelda in a while. Um, I have a I have a really fun um remix actually found today. Let me see if I can pull it up. We'll see if my computer will let me. I might need to. I might need to pull it up on my phone and type it in manually. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, my YouTube is kind of loading. Oh no, I put it on a playlist. Let me find it. If you guys are okay with Majora's Mask, it's it's pretty cool. Or Oh no, Zelda. I love Zelda remixes like hardcore. I know. <laughs> Pink Girl rec like said Zelda, and then I'm like, "Well, I only listen to Zelda, like, all the time, but that sounds great. Ooh, how about some motivational Zelda music? Let's do that. I just need the link. Okay, let's see if it will... Let's see if I can song request it. Oh, actually, I can do it from the chat. I'm just gonna do it from the chat. I think it's gonna be faster. Or so I thought. So I thought. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys, like, what it looks like when I'm switching between windows. It's so bad. Yes, there's motivational Zelda music. It's a just a compilation. Uh-oh. My, uh, stream elements is having a sad. Oh. I think it's working. There we go. Yeah, I love these. There's a lot of these playlists now where people will, like, say, oh... 
Here's video game music for studying, and here's stuff for um, relaxing. It will play in five hours. <laughs> it will play for five hours. Um, so this will be hopefully a different, a big mix of different Zelda games. Because if we, uh, if you let me pick, it'll be nothing but Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Because uh, I don't know. Because I am a terrible, I'm a terrible person. Not that those games are bad. I love those games, obviously, but I just have no like creativity when it comes to like music selection. Yeah, it's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I I feel bad. It's like I've only been listening to uh, to like pretty much Zelda music and Final Fantasy X. That's pretty much all I've been listening to like in the car lately. It's on my playlist, my phone. That's all I have. And I'm like, uh, you know, I feel like my music taste is like pretty. Um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Not, not unique. It's uh, um, not un like not unique. Like, oh, I have a great thing, but like uh, diverse. I have a pretty diverse like amount of things I like, but I have not been diverse in what I've listened to lately. So I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm just limiting myself, but okay. So we got both sides of the zipper. Oh, forgot to mention before I before I actually sewed the zipper, I ironed it. The instructions do say to iron your zipper. If it's a long zipper, I highly recommend. Um, I do highly recommend ironing it because usually it'll get a kind of a kink in it. If it's a shorter one, usually you don't have to bother. Pretty much just iron everything at all times. Okay, so here is the key. Key test. Key test. Will this zip on the first try? Or did I sew through the teeth too many times? There's no way to know. Oh, Heidi is hosting. Thank you, Heidi. I don't oh she's yeah, I know she's auto hosting. She's probably hosting somebody else and then it, it came to me. That auto host feature is real sweet, I have to say. I love it. Ugh. Okay, so zipper. I'm gonna tuck him in. Go to bedtime. Bedtime for zipper. Okay. So we're gonna see. <laughs> Everything just wants to fall down. It's kind of driving me nuts. Oops. Accidentally changed the settings on my com not my computer. There we go. My <laughs> my machine has a little touch screen up here and I accidentally bumped it. Okay. I want to make sure. Okay, so if you can see, it's just I know it's a big mess of white fabric, but okay, here's the zipper. Let's see. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we did. I always you always want to test to see if there's any stuck parts, and I think I have a stuck part at the very very beginning. I do. Okay. So usually what that means is yes, I did so. I might have to hand sew the bottom of this. I'll see. If it, it, these these zippers, this is an invisible zipper, and they get so so finicky. They're they're very very sensitive. You gotta like talk nice to them, make sure to tell them that they look nice. Uh, you know, remind them that you're proud of them every now and then. You know, tell them you're not embarrassed to be seen in public with them, because sometimes they don't, they don't quite believe you. <laughs> no, my, I wish, I wish I could run Doom. It actually, the screen looks more, on oh, my computer looks more, on oh, my computer, my machine looks more like a, um, like a TI-83 calculator. Oh, Gimli's back. Hey, buddy, what you doing? I think he wants attention. Actually, I can, I can probably turn it a little bit so you can see. There's my camera. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no! There it went. I 
shouldn't have done that. That's okay. I will fix it. Come back, camera. <sighs> well, this is why we can't have nice things. Gimli, it's not your fault. It's okay. <laughs> He's just looking at me like, uh, excuse me. Camera down. This camera is... I need to get a new stand because it's really bad. Oh, oh, you can see my alpacas. There's the big ones. Yep, there they are. I love that, I love that orange one. <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody save the camera. Okay. This is, I can, I can pretty much tilt it. I'm just trying to make sure. Oh, poor girl's hosting. Uh-oh. Are we gonna get... Are we about to get... It's either a auto... It's, if it's an auto host, we may not get raided. Okay, there we go. Stepping away. Stepping away. <laughs> okay. Okay, back to, uh... Back to the zipper. Okay. Nice. Okay, so it's only that bottom part. Not too shabby. Looks like I lined up pretty well, actually. That's good. That's good. Is Fork Girl in here? Or it might be an auto. I think it's an auto host. Um, I want to see if you guys can see it. Okay, there we go. So the the seam looks like it lines up pretty good. So. Oh, okay. She was streaming tonight. That's cool. She she probably needs a break. She's been working really hard. Um, I've been trying. Well, since I'm judging, I don't. I didn't want to be like going to her stream too often or anything, because I'm judging her. But I want to, like, I want her costume to kind of be a surprise for me. Because I know I'm going to see it in person. So, very, very excited to see everybody's stuff. Cool. Well, I think we actually got the zippers pretty good. I just need to... Oh, that's actually uh, the really cool thing about um, if you can get the zipper right, and then it, now it just looks like a seam. You can't even, like, you can't even tell there's a zipper there. Pretty cool. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and, ooh, there's another run down there. It's on the back. It's before the zipper, so it's been there. Man, this dress is just like... It's just wanting to run all over the place. It's like, calm down. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll hand sew the bottom of the zipper. And I'm going to want to press this for sure, because it, it really needs it. It's really bubbly. Not bubbly, but, like, poo it's poofy. Okay, so we'll do a little hand sewing. See, what's it? It's almost 11. Okay, we start. We started at, like... Really didn't start till like 9.30. Ugh. Okay. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll finish hand sewing this. I'll probably call it a night. I'm trying to be I've been trying to be good about going to bed earlier because since I started working out I need more sleep. Just in general. Usually when I start working out more I need like nine hours at least. that and I have a uh, I have a lot of ironing to do. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to have just a little bit of thread left on that. So I'll go ahead and use the rest. Somebody's getting a ball thrown for him. You might hear some skitters.
yeah, hopefully, hopefully by Sunday I'll be on the part where I'm actually doing, like, the applique part of the cape. Because that would be a fun thing to do on stream. Show you guys my, uh... Oh, jeez. Hang on, I might need to shut my door. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Something very loud down the hall. I have no idea what it was, but it was loud. Oh, Delson, you play replayed Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess when I got home. Yeah, the the Wii is definitely like not a bad system. I played Twilight Princess on the GameCube though, because it was originally a GameCube game, and I was really mad at Nintendo because I didn't have a Wii. Like it was supposed to come out on GameCube first, then it. They delayed the release of the GameCube one so they could release the Wii version first. And I was so angry. I was so mad because I was like, it's not it's not a Wii game, it's a D it's a GameCube game and And then I found out that they, they actually like flipped the they flipped the map so Link would be right handed and I was like oh, why would you do that? I was I'm a nerd, okay? I'm a real big nerd. So I like I waited until the GameCube version because I was I'm snotty. <laughs> so Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword are your two most favorite Zeldas, and three would be Majora's Mask. Yeah, I mean that's kind of what I did. I think I played the GameCube. No, actually, I think I played it on my GameCube because I'm a purist that way. Um. My favorite Zelda game is probably Wind Waker. Because that's one of the ones... That's one of the ones that I just, like... I want to explore everything. I want to get all the map. Breath of the Wild's pretty high up there, too. Like, the... I'd say the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay is some of my favorite, but the... And the exploration part, but I didn't like the story as much. Like... I guess I felt like Ganon wasn't this, like... He was a force, not so much a character, which is fine, but I kind of felt like, I kind of felt like the ending was a, like a little, like, left much to be desired on my front. I loved the story of Ocarina of Time. Ocarina, <laughs> Ocarina of Time is probably my top one. Voice acting was questionable. Yes. The, oh my god, Gimli. Oh, sorry, guys. That was probably not sounding great. Um, yeah, I did. The voice acting was pretty questionable. I will not deny that. I was also very disappointed with how, like, how little you saw, like, some of the other, like, NPCs. It kind of felt like they... They obviously developed the Zora area first, and that's the one that was the most developed and the most interesting. And then from then on, it was, like, kind of downhill. Like, can you even remember the names of any of the Gorons? I know I can't. Hey, <laughs> Gimli is excited about Zelda. Yes, I agree. Um, I loved Wayne Waker. Ocarina of Time was the first one I actually really got to play because none of the boys would let me play on their NES to play the first one. The first one is pretty good, though. I have to say, it's really fun to pick it up. And uh, Link Between Worlds. Love the hell out of that one. But I kind of I kind of consider the 2D Zeldas and 3D Zeldas kind of separated in my brain. So, like, 2D ones, like... The first game in Link Between Worlds are great. I haven't really played much of 2, but who has? I have to say, though, like, Skyward Sword, I started re start started actually playing through it uh, last year. I didn't get super far. No, actually, I got pretty far. I need to finish it still. Um, and there are things that I like about it and things I don't like about it. Uh, but I have to say, the music, I really love the music. 
Um, it's something I've actually been wanting to, like, um, kind of, like, I don't know, make a video about is just how, how Zelda music is used through the series. Because it's something that, like, I love music and I'm a stupid music nerd and whenever there's, like, theming going on with music, I just, like, go crazy about that. But if you guys have ever played... <laughs> I don't expect anybody to remember this, but in some... They did this in Breath of the Wild, too, but um, in the first Skyward Sword dungeon, when you're starting to go through the first... Like, they have, they have a few layers in the music, and when you're on... When you're on the main path through the dungeon, you'll hear the melody. But anytime you go on off path that's off like to the side, the melody will actually drop and you'll just hear like the the rhythm and the bass. Um kind of the the bass track and the and the rhythm track. And then as you're going forward, like when you get to like the next section and it starts getting closer to the boss, they actually start adding layers onto it. Yeah, I think it's Skyview Dungeon. I think that's the one. Um and I noticed them doing that. I was like, oh my god, that's so neat. Like, it's... They're doing a really interesting thing with the sound design, which I don't... I don't feel like I hear too often. Um, well, and, and Wind Weaker did... Uh, I guess this is Wind Weaker was the first one that kind of did the whole, like, the music. Uh, they had the music being relevant to what was going on in the fight. Um... They did that with, uh, like, when you're fighting the Ghost Ganon in, in Wind Waker, and you're, like, bouncing it back and forth, and, uh, and then they also have, like, the combos. The, the combos have, like, music stings with them. Uh, I love that stuff. It's so good. So good. I noticed that Breath of the Wild did that, at least in the, the desert dungeon. The desert, uh, the, the desert boss had it, uh, not boss, um guardian deity i noticed i noticed them doing that a little bit too but not on the same scale where'd my needle go there it is yeah see although the 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 gear him boss fight boss battle music changes when he changes his fighting style oh neat that's super cool um so there's definitely positives to skyward sword it's not I know it gets it gets it gets teased a lot, but I'm I'm hesitant to call it like a bad game. It just does some bad things. <laughs> it's not bad, it's just drawn that way. Um But yeah, it, it's um no, I like the art style. I just wish it wasn't, like, alias is all balls, man. It's, it's really rough to look at now. Actually, even back then, I was pretty disappointed with how, like, they didn't use, I guess, any anti-aliasing at all or something. I don't know, but it's, like, really, really, really jagged. I really like the character designs. I will say that I like I like Zelda's design a lot. I think she looks really cute. Uh, I like the birds, the bird guys. Yeah, so so that's cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I think I have. I think I'm kind of close to the end ish of that game. So I've been meaning to pick it back up. I played after playing Breath of the Wild. I was like, how am I ever gonna play any other Zelda game again? And then I got over that. And now I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to play other Zelda games again. If you guys are interested, I will totally... I've been meaning to do, like, a video about, um, about Majora's Mask, particularly. Because, like, a lot of people seem to really like Majora's Mask. And, um, but it, it kind of, to me, it seems kind of like they don't really admit that there's stuff wrong with it. And I feel... Not like I do, like, a critique of it, but, like, I kind of feel like, I mean, people are blind about that with a lot of games, but, like, I like Majora's Mask. I'm, like, I'm kind of weirdly obsessed with it in a weird way, 
Like, I keep wanting to play it, but there's a lot that I complain about with it. So it's kind of like, what, what is wrong with me? I realize I'm kind of like leaning back. This thing can't really see my hands. So I'm glad to hear at least the final boss. I think I, I keep hearing like the, the final boss is pretty all right, pretty good for Skyward Sword. And then the, uh, um, there's some really cool boss fights. I think I got the, the, one of the cooler ones I fought him. Yeah, I'll just stream some Zelda games. Ow. I didn't poke myself. I like, I don't, I don't know what I just did. I kind of like weirdly like flicked my finger. Stay in school, everybody. <laughs> Unless you're out of school, then don't stay there. Get, don't. <laughs> okay. Okay, about to be done with this one side. Oh yeah, the fairy collecting of Jorah's mask. That's definitely one of the points that I make about how weird Majora's Mask is. Like, how... Like, why did they think that would be a good idea? Because you have to... You, like, go to the fairy. The fairy's like, hey, I need help. Then you have to go find all the fairies. Uh, if you're like me, you look it up on a walkthrough to find out where all they are because you don't feel like looking. Uh, then, if you're lucky, you already have the... You already have the fairy mask that helps you do that. I don't remember how you get it. Um. And then, like, I mean, there's, I don't remember how many it starts out with, but, like, by the end, like, the final, the final dungeon is, like, so many fairies. It's, like, 20 or something. And then you have to go, take them, then you get the thing. And then when you rewind time, then it's all undone. So hopefully you got it done in those three days. Yeah, the, some of the dungeons, see, that's, I have a hard time with the dungeons because when I'm, like, when I'm playing through them, I'm like, man, I'm so ready to be done with this dungeon. I'm, I, I'm like, oh, I don't really like this one. I'm gonna get through it. And then I'm like, wait, do I like any of the dungeons? But I think mainly it's, like, parts of the dungeons I don't like. Like, there's one particular part of Snow, um, Snowhead that I hate. It's the one where you have to, like, there's, like, a big, like, a, a walkway, and you have to go around, like, ramp yourself over a gap. And it's, like, real easy to miss that. And you have to climb up a ladder to get back up to it, and it's a big pain in the butt. I tried it, like, I think last time I was playing it on the 3DS version, which cool thing, like, the 3DS version did fix a lot of things, but it ruined Zora swimming. Oh my god, I was so, I was so upset when I first, when I was, like, Zora mask is my favorite mask. Not a huge fan of the dungeon, like most everybody, um, but then, uh, like, I started swimming around, like, how I used to do it in the original version, and then, like, it uses magic for you to be able to swim fast, and I feel like that is really not cool. Let's see, there was the light dungeon you had to do, which is kind of annoying too. The light dungeon? Uh, is that- are you talking about, uh, the stone- stone tower? Um... Stone Tower, I hated as a kid, but I don't mind as much as an adult. Like, I liked all the spooky stuff leading up to it, and I think that's why I like the game so much. Is that the the tone of it is really cool. I loved all of the time-related, like, side quests. Like, where you, I don't- Like, you have to make appointments, and you have to remember to, like, go meet this person at this time. Like, that stuff was super cool to me. It felt like the world was, like, a living world that, you know, people were doing their own thing. They had schedules. They weren't just, like, they weren't just, like, an NPC sitting there to do your bidding. Oh, yeah, giant mask. Yeah, that's stone, the stone tower. 
Which the stone tower theme is super cool. Super rad. I love that theme. Sorry, I know I'm kinda I'm I'm gremlining over here a little bit, sorry. Um Oh, that's an emote. We can we can we can make a an a, an emote of Ashley like hunched over hunched over my sewing project. Oh yeah, yeah. Can we talk about that giant mask for a sec? Like, how about the fact that you get that giant mask and everybody wants to finish like collecting um you wanna collect all the masks. You get this mask, it's real cool, you use it in a boss fight. You can only use it in the boss fight. Only that one room. That's the only time you can use that mask. That's really lame. That makes me sad. Yeah, the upside down parts were pretty interesting. Um, I think, I guess my favorite, my favorite temple, I guess, in Majora's Mask has to be Snowhead. <sighs> See, it's like none of them I'm like a huge fan of, though. And I'm not sure why. I'm I'm a fan of like the areas you'd visit, but not necessarily the temp the temples themselves. Um yeah, the fierce deity you can only use in boss battles. At least at least that you can use that in any boss battle, but you can only get it at the very end and use it on the final boss battle. Unless you go back in time later on and use it on all of the other ones. But you've already beaten them, so it's like, oh okay. But did I do that as a kid? Hells yes, I did. I did, like, I would go back and fight. I got that, I got that boss, I mean, that uh, mask. And then I went back and fought all of the bosses with it. I did, I did defeat the, I did beat the game first without it, though. So, you know, legit. Yeah, I mean, when I replayed it recently, I, I was like, I want to get complete. I'm going to get everything, and I did. Or how about the, the night mask? The one that keeps you awake all night, and you can only use it for one- getting one side quest item. I mean, I know there's like, what, 20-something masks, so I understand? But at the same time, like... I don't know. At least there's- there's enough masks that do cool things. Like the bunny hood. Bunny hood, best mask. Sorry, it is. Bunny hood is best mask. Sorry, I don't know if that- that looked like my mask- my, uh... Mike was blowing out. Oh, that sword was really cool. Oh, the fairy sword. Yeah, that was really neat. Uh, fairy sword. I'm trying to think what was the other good mask I used a lot. I used the bunny hood constantly. Like, who doesn't? Okay, um. Oh no, rabbit! I'm glad you're back. I was just talking about how the bunny hood is the best mask. Agree? Disagree? Oh, yes, we are talking about Zelda. <laughs> talking about uh, Majora's Mask. I was complaining about the things that I don't like about it. And the things that I do like about it. Yes, Bunny Hood is best mask. <laughs> and... And then, um... Rivali is best bird. So... Even though you don't see Rivoli that much in Breath of the Wild. Um, yeah, I was trying to think of the other masks I liked. I do like the... Do you get a Redead mask? I, th I can't remember if you get a Redead mask in Majora's Mask or not. <laughs> yes, Rivoli. Rivoli, Fal Rivoli is Falco. <laughs> He's a blue, a blue annoying bird who's really full of himself. Like who, who else is he? Um, let's see, Majora's Mask. Masks. What are the masks? Uh, oh, I did love the um the Bremen mask that like, you do the march and you have the birds follow all the animals follow you. I loved that one. Um. So you get the ninja mask, you get the, the Gibdo mask. Okay, yeah, you don't get the re-dead one. That's in that's in Ocarina of Time. I'd say the stone mask is hilarious. If you look up the stone mask, 
I, I'm not gonna try to, uh... Oh my god, the dancing mask! The dancing mask is so good! Yes, yeah, the Gibdo mask. Um, yeah, the dancing mask is amazing, but it is... If you have you ever looked at how closely at that mask, um, you can see it really well in the 3DS version. But uh, in the 3DS version, you can clearly see that that dancing mask is you. It's actually like it has like stitches on the outside, so it's like he, you're sewing that guy's head onto your face. Like that's legit, like what it is, and it's like terrifying looking. Yeah, the bomb mask, real good. The stone mask, it's like, it's like a big eye. I want to post a picture, but my, my internet's not going to be able to handle it. <laughs> but yes, the, uh, the, the, the stone mask is hilarious. It's got like a small eye and a big eye and it's like, Nur. it's real good. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to iron. Uh, I could try to move the camera. Uh, let me get a stand up first and try not to knock anything over. Oh, and not, not step on the dog. I'm not gonna step on the doggo. Hey, doggo. <laughs> hey, you wanna get in the chair? You can get in the chair instead of me. Come on, buddy. Here, your antler can go up here too. Come on. There you go. Okay, it's Gimli stream now, guys. There you go. He'll be working on this project. That's his project. <laughs> Oh, there's the stone mask. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Hi, Gamely. Hi! Hey, sweetie. Oh, wow, it's 11.15. Okay. I want to see the stone... Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, there it is. There's the stone mask. It's so funny. Oh, Gimli got a thread on your ear. Did you drop it? Oh no, he still has it. Okay. Gimli is pretty good. He's pretty good. I don't know how well you can see him. There he is. <laughs> hey, buddy. He's a good dog. He came to see me. He's gonna drop his antler. Hey, buddy. You gonna say hi? Yeah? Are you a good boy? Yeah. Oh, hey, Gimli. Speak. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Oh, actually. High five. Good boy. He's like, okay, now where's Treat? Where's Treat? Yeah, he's a good boy. He'll shake your hand, too. Yep. He, he shakes, he does uh, speak, lay down, roll over. He's, he's kind of bad at listening, though. He'll do, he'll do his, uh, he'll do his commands because he knows he has treats. <laughs> oh, don't die, guys! Oh, I'm glad you guys like him. <laughs> yeah, he's... Do you want, do you want this? Here, I give you this. <laughs> You know the stream is devolved with the dog. Oh god. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry that was really loud. Oh my god. <laughs> he keeps he'll do this if we don't if we don't put him in his crate at night, he will just run around dropping antlers all night and it's like, oh god, please. So I'm trying to just uh see I don't wanna to touch this camera. This camera's probably gonna like explode again. Uh, well, thank you guys. I'm glad you guys like Gimli. If you guys ever get to meet him, he will love you forever. Because that's the kind of dog he is. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna move it. <laughs> okay. We're gonna... Ugh. Okay. We're gonna iron... Oh, when I mean explode, um, this camera doesn't, s like, it really doesn't attach itself very well to that, s to the stand. Okay. I can barely, like, adjust it. Okay. 
But so far, so good. Yes. Uh, the face cam is going to be kind of hard since I'm standing up and this is like, whoa, hey guys. So, so it's going to be kind of awkward, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to iron the, I'm going to iron the zipper. That's what I'm going to do. So I finished sewing it. Did I finish sewing? I don't. Yes, I did. Okay, go me. I don't even remember what we were doing. Oh, thank you, Pink Girl. I'm glad you like it. It's, uh... Huh. It says 1989. Uh, I usually wear it with... I have a pair of shorts that have um, had anchors printed on them. So I usually will wear those... Wear that. These, those two together. I think I'm clever. Yeah, Majora's Mask pretty much distracted me. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, so what I'm going to use here is I'm going to grab my my Taylor's Ham, Mr. Ham here. Bop. There's a ham. So I don't... Ugh. This dress is like pretty significantly weighty. I need to... I want to weigh it to figure out how long, how much it weighs. Okay, so I'm just going to put the ham inside here so I don't have to worry about ironing the front, the front of the dress. Okay, now I'm going to grab my pressing fabric here. Okay, I'm going to make this look cool and nice. even hot. Okay. Okay, that's working. I always feel like a press cloth, like press cloth, like make the iron not work as well, but it, it's working fine. Iron stream. Pretty much about Oh, see, look, that looks really nice. I don't know if you can see it. Oh my god, it's so bright. Here we go. You can kind of see it. Um, let's see. So, uh, Rabbit's asking about the intricate patterns on the bottom. Um, so, um, I'm so happy. This is look. It looks like a legit seam now. Um, I'm trying to get this dress really clean, which is why I'm taking my time and that's why I lined it. Oh, uh, in interlined it, or underlined, it's inter, there's a difference between inter and under. I think this is underlining. Um, so the, um, so the, the, well, I'm going to do the design is, oh, let me go find, I can show you guys the fabric I'm using for it. I got it right here. Let me show, let me show you it. It's really pretty. Ugh. Okay, so I actually have this metallic pleather. Oh, it's so good. So what I'm going to do is actually cut the pattern out of this. Yeah, work, work. Um, I hope I, I can manage to, like, steam this because there's some wrinkles. So, hope you can see it. So, it's this, it's actually like a rose gold. So, I'm going to cut, cut the pattern out of this. And then um, I'm going to uh, top stitch it onto the dress on the bottom. And so this is kind of, this is what the, yeah, the, it's a little more like, kind of like a gold. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, it has like a slight, it's a very slight pink tinge to it. Um, but yeah, I'm really, um, it's, it's really pretty. So I think that's gonna look like, whoo, oh, it's so good. I'm so excited. Um, so I bought, I bought two yards of this, and jeez, I feel like they gave me two more than two yards. It's a really wide fabric, luckily. So it's pretty much a tablecloth. Um. So yeah, it's a gold. 
It's just a faux, so it's a faux metallic leather. It has a teeny bit of a stretch to it, so it's not too bad. Um, but it, it's like a very slight, slight peach gold. So, um, so I'm going to top stitching it to start out with. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a full stat satin stitch or not. I haven't quite decided. Um, I might need to do a test on it first. Oh, and it feels so soft. Oh, that's so good. Okay, I'm going to finish ironing this. So I got distracted, but I've been excited to show you guys the, the material. Oh, wait, did I actually iron that part? I don't think I did. You guys get me distracted. Music still playing? Huh. I feel like we lost our music. Oh, did it end? Oh. Hmm. Okay, I think it's time for some Persona, I guess. Oh, I thought I could search. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, we done. Uh, if anybody wants to throw some Persona up there, like, any, any Persona's fine. I would do it, but my, <laughs> my computer's having a hard time. I think it just ended. I'm pretty sure it just, just ended. I can just hear the soft, the soft hum of my computer trying its hardest to keep the stream going. <laughs> poor, poor computer. There we go. Thank you, Delson. Yes. Yes. How is this game so stylish? Why? Why is everybody ice skating in the opening? I don't know. But yeah, so I'm, I'm, uh, I have to work on the design of the bottom of the dress probably this weekend. So I'm planning on streaming either some of that or um, uh, uh, either that or um, the applique on the cape. <laughs> Thank you guys for uh, getting that for me. Reminds me, I need to make a Kappa Gen that's just hearts. God, Delson, get, get, I gotta catch up. <laughs> I haven't even beaten it once yet. I finally got to the mementos part where you, you get the bus. Work has been really busy. Let's, I do have a legit excuse. <laughs> Ah, the zipper works so good. My last zipper did not work so good, so... Yeah! Cool. Well, I'm actually gonna put this dress on the floor. I wanna test to see if I got that uh, collar seam looking okay. Yeah, I think the next uh, next step here I'm gonna adjust. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> 
Wait, Phil. We gotta, we gotta chill out. <laughs> and this is being somewhat recorded, so we may want to be careful. We gotta be careful where we don't reveal our plans. Okay. So I'm a little crowded out here. This girl's in my face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this up here so we can kind of see what the zipper looks like after it's all zipped up and on the form. I didn't actually surge any of the edges on the inside this time because I found like uh, when I surge edges, especially like on on bus scenes, like you get like a bump here uh, from the from the extra thread. So I figured I'd just leave things raw and then I'll line everything. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, there's the run. Um, it happened while I was working on this, on this collar. So, I'm really sad about it. Because the, the seams are really clean. So, I think the scratch going to be clean. So, yeah, you only see, like, a smock of it. I wish she had, like, a necklace or something. I guess I could just make her one of those. Full disclosure, uh, this dress form is like weirdly bigger than me in some ways. Like the neck, the neck is actually like, I have it on the smallest setting and it's actually like bigger than my neck. So we'll see if it zips up all the way on the neck. I'm not sure if it's gonna. All right, I'll we'll turn it around. Oh uh, yeah, see I had a, uh, Oh, jeez, this fabric, I'm just getting runs everywhere. And it's not from sewing. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a... No, I don't think you can see it. <laughs> oh, God, Delson, you're going to 100% persona. Okay. So I did... So I did press the zipper, but I'm going to need to probably either use some stitch witchery or, or something, or hand stitch, just to get it flat. Man, so there's a there's a run. Yeah, you're not going to see it. So there's a run on both sides of the seam all the way down here, and I'm really mad about it. I have some, I have some ironing to do on this part, so because I'm still getting some waviness. But here's the zipper. The, the dress definitely like looks better on me than it does on the form because these dress forms just do not have any give in them at all so they just like what's this what's going on here oh my the bra strap fell down let's see if i can yeah i'm probably not going to make the zipper go all the way up it's kind of it's getting tight but there we go. Bring a little forward. Yay, zipper! Um, yeah, definitely, I think I'm pretty good with it. I think it'll work. It definitely looks like it fits better here. Like, this part has plenty of uh, give here. It's a little tighter here, but I think that's the dress form. The dress form kind of like, it does things. Aw, thank you, pink girl! And thank you guys for watching, and here she is! We got a neck! <laughs> oh, hi! Oh, okay, actually, before I forget, I've written down, I've come up with a couple of emote ideas already today. So I want to write them down before I forget. 
So obviously we need a corgi. If you guys have any any uh, requests or suggestions, let me know. So I need I need some kind of hype, and I want to do a gremlin one. Awesome! Thank you guys. Um, so if you can see, but this is kind of this needs a little bit more uh, ironing. Um, but uh. Yeah, I'm ultimately like, it looks really good, like up here, it's really nice and smooth, but in here it gets like a little, little wavy, but some of this just needs to get, this seam needs, get, needs to get like more iron, so it like relaxes. I'm gonna make a heart cap and too, because that sounds like fun. Ooh, Persona 5 emote for whenever we, uh... I probably probably need a P5 emote for whenever I mention P5 because it's gonna happen. So I wrote down P5. <laughs> I'll figure that out. It's probably gonna be a Mona. Oh, fan of Thief logo. Just have them bouncing across. Yeah, I mean like P5 all the way, guys. It has a uh, it has like take your heart like embossed on the inside. It's real good. It's real good. I love Mona like. Something kind of like her Gucci, like with the... I call Mona a girl. Ooh. No, that's okay. You don't... Um, it's all right you haven't played Persona 5. It's it's a really good RPG. Um, highly recommend if you've never played Persona game before. I know Mona's a boy. I call her a girl because she sounds like a girl and Mona and Morgana are girl names. And I like her being a girl. Yeah, Sailor Moon. I need some Sailor Moon emotes too. Oh, any of the Persona games are great. Uh, well, I played a little bit of 3 and a decent amount of 4 and 5. Um, yeah, Persona's mainly PlayStation. Um, there's uh, the best version of 4 is on the PSP Vita. The Vita. And then there's a PSP version of 3 where you get to pick being a boy or a girl, which is neat. Oh, man, I'm so... I don't care about... I'm sorry, I'm just coming back to this, but... I don't care about, like, the... There's a, um... The pull on... The, I mean, the run that's on the back of the... Back seam, I don't really care about, because... You're not going to see it because there's a big cape in the way, but like this, the fact that it happened right here, like I'm so mad. I'm going to step away. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to put her over here. And I think there's an antler in her hand. Oh. I got an antler deposited underneath my dress. Oh, poor Pia's Vita. Yeah, I like the Vita a lot. It's really good. Okay, I'm gonna touch this. We're gonna see what. Oh, oh no, the stand. Oh no. Oh god, you guys are flying around with me. There we go. Yeah, and you, um, the cool thing about Persona games is you don't. You don't have to play them in order or anything. They're all different. They're all different characters. They're standalone. So you can just play whichever one. Um, yeah, I think Persona 5 is like... It's kind of like... Oh man. Sorry, I'm looking... I'm seeing the past of me moving the camera. You can see like my skin. Like the, the lines of my skin. Um... PS Vita is actually, there's a lot of dating sims coming out for it, weirdly enough, by Axis. I bought, I bought one at AX, actually. I haven't played it yet, but. But yeah, so if you have a PSP, P Persona 3 is really good. Highly recommend that one. It's like, visually, they're really interesting. They have, like, really good music. Um... So really good music. The characters are fun. Um, the battle system's really fun. 
So yeah, highly recommend it. If you like RPGs at all, it's really good. And the Persona 3, like for the PSP, you should be able to find it for like really, really cheap. Um, and they're cool because like if you like RPGs and kind of like a dating sim kind of thing, it's like right up your alley because there's like a bunch of like social stuff you get to do. You get to make friends, do things with your friends. Um, so yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Phil, <laughs> Phil jailbroke his. Um, that's neat. There, at least we did get PS, uh, we did get, uh, Persona 4 Golden. Um, the Uncharted games are pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to think what other, what other things I've played on the Vita. Oh, the Muramasa. Muramasa has a port on the Vita. And that's a really pretty game. Really good one to play on the go. Um... Trying to think what else I've played. I don't have a whole lot for my Vita, but I do like it. Well, it is about 11.40 here. Um, I probably should think about going to bed. Oh my god, I have so much thread on my arm. It's so good. It's <laughs> so good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wrap myself in my pleather. Or my my Yeah. Mm. Ugh. I'm so ready. I'm so ready to cut this and put it on the dress. But I'm holding off until I'm for sure, for sure, like, done with the base dress so I don't, like, sew this on. So. But yeah, there she is. She's doing okay. Um, she needs an ironing real bad, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna do that tonight. Uh, after, after stream. Because it's just a lot, it's a lot of awkwardness of, like, throwing the big, uh, the big dress everywhere. But cool thing is, I can knock a thing off my to-do list. We got the zipper. And I don't think I'm going to worry about sleeves just yet. I think it's time to go ahead and start working on the design. The design on the dress, because that's going to take a while. Um, okay. So, I'm going to iron tonight. Oh, I need to cut the hem. The hem of the dress. Uh, right now, you can't see it. You can't see the bottom of it, but it's not quite like... There's pieces that are, like, way longer than it, they need to be, so I need to go ahead and cut everything to, like, the same length. So then I can put the, uh... Uh... So then I can put the, uh, um... Start planning where I need to put the design on the bottom. So, tomorrow I have that on my list is Uh, cutting the design, sewing it on. I'll probably go into Saturday on that. Hopefully that'll be done this weekend, and I can also get the applique on the cape. Because after that, I still have to, like, line everything. <laughs> and that's a lot more stuff to cut out. I haven't even bought my lining material yet. So, but yeah. So I probably better get going. But thank you guys so much for coming. Um, it was a... I had a lot of fun. Uh, always up, up for more Persona and Zelda talks or whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, but yeah. Also, yeah, next week is going to be big streams. Um, I'm going to have to do some... Uh, it, there's been some recommendations for, like, how you should do your settings. And I need to, like... I need to make sure I have all of my filters set up. And um, need to make sure I have, like... Make sure all my bots are working. And um, But, yeah. Oh, thank you, Rabbit. I hope you can come. And I hope I can... Um, I need to check your schedule again and see when you're streaming next. So I can... So we can watch. Oh, it's been too long. Oh, clappy hype. Yeah. Oh, thank you guys. I'm so glad you came. I'm so glad we could get it working because I was really excited to, like, keep coming. So, um, yay. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, yeah, yes, Phil. I'm going to be, like, um... I think what I'm going to do is probably make all the changes and, um, so I usually steam, steam, I stream on Sunday, so I'll probably, I'll probably get all my settings done by then, so then we can kind of test everything on Sunday and try to break stuff, because I know you guys are great at breaking stuff for me, so. Best, best QA team, 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 oh my god. I probably need to go to bed. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for coming, um, I'll be streaming again Sunday, um, I try to get around three, so um, the streams next week are the features are are scheduled for seven to nine, 
So I'll probably be starting at 6 Pacific on Tuesday. And then my other one is 9 to 11. So I'll be starting at like 8. And then probably going until midnight. Maybe I might start. I might cut that one a little short. But anyway. So um, I'll be tweeting about that stuff. So thank you guys so much for coming. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. And um, yeah. So see you guys around. Okay. Bye. Abba.